What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walker. Okay, so in the last episode, we defeated Elisa. Yes, that supermodel that looked all yummy and delicious in that, uh, that nice dress right there for our fourth badge right there. Yes, buddy. And uh, Drillmonger did all the work. He got his ass kicked quite a few times, but you guys know what it is. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our shiny badges. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the shine on those badges. That's right. I'm proud. We're halfway there, guys. Uh, wow, this is like the quickest I've ever gotten to a uh, to four badges in Pokemon Black, and uh, this is thanks to me not just taking small tours and doing it piece by piece on every episode. So that's hilarious right there. So the next place we're going to be going to is Route 5 all the way to Drift Vale City because somebody's waiting for us right there. And uh, there are performers gathering at Route 5. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Uh... Okay, so you know what? I'm going to stay like that because we got shoot to do right here. Let's talk to this lady. I wonder who writes the news on the bulletin board. Eh, well, it's probably me. I don't even know. Okay, so here we are, Route 5, and uh, hold up. Hold the horses. Dr Charen is here, and he's like, Draven, stop. You've got a bolt badge. I've got a bolt badge. Let's test who's stronger, you or me. This time, I'm going to win. Round 4. Fight! Wait, is it the fourth round? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so here we go, guys. Another battle, and this time we're taking on our rival again, Sharen. He is challenging us, and he's going to go with his Lyford right here. So, since uh, Sai of the Torrent couldn't do anything last episode because, you know, he would have gotten his butt kicked, I'm going to destroy this guy by doing revenge one too many times, isn't it? Wow. Really? You're going to be doing the fake out? Uh, okay, so you're gonna flinch us, but here we go again with the revenge attack. Go ahead, use your torment. It's not gonna affect me. He's gonna give me those little veiny things right there, so here we go. Revenge for the win. Eat this. Yeah, buddy. Nearly takes him out. And he's like, I see, I'm surprised you chose that move. You shouldn't be surprised. Here we go, Razor Shell, let's get this, and oh my god, there's that pursuit attack. You don't want that. Okay, here we go, Razor Shell. For the win, eat it, Lightbird. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Experience points galore. And uh, he's going to be coming out with his Servine right here. I'm not going to let you just beat me like that, so I'm going to go with Hotshot. All right, Hotshot. You know what to do right here. You're going to miss a few times, but still, we're going to kick some ass right now. So here we go. He's coming out with his Servine, thinking he's going to beat me. But no, here we go. Fire Punch. And crud, we're going to be seated. Oh, yes, and I did teach uh, Hotshot Gyro Ball would seem that in this town you can actually buy uh, some TMs. That's pretty cool. And look at that. You fainted and look at that. Hotshot grows to level 30 and is learning Belly Drum. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, it's not worth it because you do lose HP in order to raise up your sp your your, uh, your attack. So that's not going to happen right there. So he's going to be coming out with a Pampor. So let's go straight to Ace, the Wonder Dog. You know, the Pokemon that is in his pink Pokeball, even though he's not a female right there. So, let's go. Take down attack. Let's get it. It's his only powerful attack right now. And look at that. Pampor, defeated. Eat it. That's right. And here comes a Tranquil, so... I have no other choice but to use Drillmonger. Okay. Drillmonger, you know what to do. Destroy. Finish him. All that crud. And uh, this is a Tranquil right here that's uh, pretty cool looking right here. So let's go with the Rock Slide. And uh, yeah, you gotta love those quick attacks, right? Oh god. Here we go. Rock Slide. Uh, come on, stop hitting me with this freaking... Okay, there we go. So as you can see, Tranquil has been easily dealt with. Look at that. Oh yes, and Sharon has been defeated. He's like, well, you are strong as usual. Yeah. That's right, buddy. Keeping that pimp hand strong. Why? Why can't I beat you? Oh, well, you know, because you kind of suck. I don't know. Oh, you you, uh, you two are friends. That's nice how you're helping each other uh, get better by competing. Okay, let's go. We're running that walkway, and whoa, before we do anything, he's like, oh, why if it isn't Elisa? Oh, crud, here we go. The guy who thinks he's pretty cool. Aren't the festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed! And Charon's like, who is this man? Why, this is Elder, the Unova Region's champion. Champion? 
Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? And homeboy here is like, I heard the, I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental person. Yes, he is. Aren't you? Right? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He, he's so judgmental. Not me. I, I don't judge a book by its cover. Ain't that right, guys? Come on, be cool. My name is Elder. I am the Unova, uh, Unova Pokemon League champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I am not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Really, you do you? Um, I'm Charon from New Town. My goal is to become, or uh, as a trainer, is to become champion, which you will not. Hmm. Well, with the guy, with the goal in mind, is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming champion? Question mark. He's like, what else is there to, uh, what else is there other than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer. That's the champion. Hmm. Becoming stronger, becoming stronger. You say. Is that, is that alone enough a goal? Hmm. It's not that I'm trying to say your, uh, your uh, way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn uh, to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with those two? Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, you two, come over here for a moment. Alrighty, understood. But before that... Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You see, he's a, he's a good friend right there, it's just, you know, he's very judgmental and all that stuff. Okay, let's battle! Alrighty. Alright, um, I'm gonna show you how it's done, okay? I'm looking at you, Charon. I'm gonna show you how this whole thing is done. So, here they come out with herd ears. Looking like a uh, cool stoutlins and all that stuff, about to be stoutlin from Scotland and all that crud. And here we come out with our starting Pokemon, not his starting Pokemon. And, uh, oh crud, so we got double the Intimidate, I believe. Uh crud, uh crud, uh crud. Yeah, we're gonna get Intimidated up the you know who has. Oh, just one time. So let's go Revenge right here. And, uh, of course, you like to use Fake Out. Such a, such a weak move, and look at that. <laughs> Take down. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Here we go, Revenge. I'm not doing Revenge for you, buddy. I'm doing Revenge for myself. There we go, and herdier has been taken, uh, taken down a notch, but look at that, look at that, Herdier is, uh, you know, getting that, that, that HP back, so let's go with the Fury Cutter and just destroy everybody, and, uh, okay, so you're gonna be using Torment on the guy that hits you with a, uh, takedown attack, okay, that sounds like a very nice idea right there, okay, and, uh, well, here's a takedown avoided, and here we go again with another takedown attack, and, <laughs> Lyper is getting his butt kicked. Yeah, and you, you want to be a champion. Wow. Okay, so here he comes out with his Papoor, and I'm gonna just continue going on with my Fury Cutter just to destroy everybody. And here they go with the Helping Hand. Now this is gonna be this is gonna be a quite a, a thing because I believe Helping Hand kind of helps him or something. And here is a Scald attack. Okay, already. So Scald nearly takes him out, and there's that takedown again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jared, you suck, man. You suck. Alrighty, so he's going to come out with his Servine. Alright, buddy. I'm going to show you how it's done. Here we go again. Fury Cutter. Oh, wait. He's got. Oh, yeah, he's quicker, of course. Leave Tornado. Okay, so his defense, or his accuracy went down, but he's got that citrus berry just to heal him up, you know, that kind of stuff, and uh, here we go, Fury Cutter for the win. Yeah, but, oh crud, come on! Ah, uh, balls. Well, it, it would seem they both take themselves out, wow. <laughs> wow, this is fun. And look at that, Sai of the Tauren grows to level 31, and uh, yeah, we didn't really do much. I should have just went with revenge the whole entire time. Okay, nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you to pursue strength, there are also people who are just happy to be with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to be uh, to when it comes to what a champion should be, you and I have uh, may hold different uh, views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Elisa's like, let's roll. The Drifail, oh, the Drifail drawbridge is ahead. Okay, so we're gonna be going over there. And uh, this guy right here is like, the champion is the strongest of the strong. That's, that's all there is to it. Wow, this guy is like highly opinionated and all that stuff. Um, 
Okay, so before we go into the Drifale uh, drawbridge, we're just gonna be talking about talking to people, talking to you know, talking to people, battling people, and all that crud. It's tremendous that people and Pokemon uh, each each so different and can acknowledge each other and be together. I didn't even get that. So let's see. If you talk to this person right here, he will want to battle you. So let's go ahead and battle quite a few people before we go into Drifale uh, City. So here we go, Baker Jin would like to battle, and she will be coming out with her pants here. This should be an easy enough uh, battle for me. That's right, bye. That's right. Alrighty. Let's go. Razor shell for the win. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Pants here has got his butt kicked. Look at that. And, uh, well, he's about to come out with the pants, or she's about to come out with the pants stage, so let's counter it with Hotshot. Hopefully Hotshot doesn't miss. You know, every single time I say that, he always misses. I kind of want to see him miss again, or I don't even know. Okay, alrighty. Let's get this fire punch. And come on. Finish him. That's right. No more pants age. Or, yeah, that's no more pants age. Yeah. So, she will be coming out with a pamp war. And, uh, well, let's go with the man, the myth, the legend, Ace. The wonder dog right here. And, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Come on, bring out Pampor. Yeah, you know what? I would rather be battling everybody and, uh, you know, get stronger and stronger and not judge people by the by, by their cover and all that stuff. You know, so that's a safe way of doing things right there. So there you have it. We, uh, we beat this guy, and I believe, let's see, and, well, let's see, uh, big bread together. It's so much fun. I don't mind getting up every... Oh, okay, that's cool. So if you go in here, I believe you can give a certain berry, or, like, let me see. Hi, I am the Humble Maid. My master has a big heart to match his big belly. His gourmet, his gourmet, so I am looking for ingredients that will make uh, his heart jump for joy. Sniff, 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 sniff. Oh, that aroma, it smells like a so gourmet. Do you have wonderful ingredient for your bag? Would you consider it, sell it, or would you consider selling it to me? Yes. Um... Let's see, I'm assuming it's the berries right here. So, I'm gonna give her a Chesto Berry. Oh, smells good! Th that Chesto Berry of yours is very rare ingredient. Indeed! Would you take 20 bucks for it? Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, sure, why not? So, we gave it to her, and, uh... Yes, she will... She will be making some delights and all that stuff. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we got more Pokemon trainers to battle right here. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be battling whoever is here. And, uh, let's go with Shattered right here. See what this guy can do, because I haven't seen him battle in a while. I will show you all moves that my Pokemon have mastered. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go, Harlequin Paul would like to battle, and he's coming out with a god dang Whirly Pete, okay. So I sort of messed up right there. Alrighty. I gotta switch out Pokemon right now. Let's go with a Gigalith. You know, from now on I'm probably just gonna be calling him Gigalith because, you know, <laughs> probably because of the nickname. Probably gonna forget about its real name, Sigalith. Alright, here we go, I got this. Let's get this air cutter. And, uh, oh, come on. Don't be messed up. Here we go. Psychic attack. Or Psy Beam. And look at that. Yes, it took it all. It took it all. That's right. It's cries for help and everything. And uh, it's going to be coming out with another Whirlipede. So let's go ahead and continue on right here. And keep on battling everybody. So let's go. Psy Beam. For the win. Yeah, buddy. No more Whirlipede. Yeah, buddy. Take that. Take that and that and that. And look at that. The number of the beast gives it another ex extra life. And, uh, well, it's learning uh, Reflect. I'm not going to teach it because uh, not really needed. And, uh, well, Harley Quinn Paul, he's like, oh, yeah, he underestimated me. He really did. Okay, so who's next? Uh, this person right here. I think being able to make uh, people smile is a super awesome talent. That's why my Pokemon, or that's why Pokemon are awesome, because they can make you smile. That is true. Uh, you know what? Let's battle this guy. Hmm, fiercely, my battle song. Battle fiercely, my Pokemon. Okay. I see he would like to battle, so let's go right ahead and battle. Uh, Musician Preston. That's a pretty good name right there, Preston. He will be coming out with his uh, Blitzel, because Blitzel is a pretty awesome Pokemon. Not for me, though. 
And, uh, well, let's get this going right here. Alrighty. Brick break. And, uh, crud, there's that pursuit. Why do they keep on hitting me with pursuits? I don't know. Here we go. Brick break. For the win! Let's go. And that takes out Blitzel. That's right, Shatter. You're kicking some butt. And more Moxie. Okay, so we're going to continue on with Shatter right here. And uh, he's going to come. He's gonna be coming out with another Blitzel. So let's go continue and physically hurt this Pokemon trainer. So let's go. Another Brick Break. And Crud. Yeah, you got to love those uh, Thunder Waves, right? Come on, Shatter. Ah, uh, you suck. Okay. Although... It would be nice to have Shed Skin, but you know what? Moxie's alright, too. And here comes that Flame Charge. Increasing its speed just a little bit, and, uh, god dang it! Come on, Shedder! Oh, uh, god, here we go with a Shockwave. Oh, god. And, uh, bam, we're getting hit. Here we go, Brick Break. Try saying that ten times in a row. And there we go, Blitzel's no more. And uh, more Moxie. Look at that. We're increasing our strength ever so slightly. Look at that. Look at that. Preston's getting his butt kicked. That's right, buddy. Gattaca. Battling you, I came to understand. You're the best. Here, this is for you. And we get ourselves an electric guitar for our, uh, I guess for, yeah, for our prop case. If you want to, if you want your Pokemon to hold this electric guitar, you go to the musical theater. Cooler than cool. Alright. It's good. It's always good. And, uh, well, let's see. We gotta, we gotta heal our Pokemon right now. Uh, okay, so, there we go. Shatter has been, uh, healed up and everything. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon again. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's go straight to Drillmonger. It's about to turn to level 31, so let's go right ahead and do that. And let's see what these guys have to say. The Street Performer are my favorites. They're they're so charming. That is true. And uh, the Pokemon that the Pokemon and the performers all have amazing moves. And here we have a dance performer right here. He looks at us. He's like, "Turn around, and it's my turn. Turn around, and it's my turn." Okay. Well. Cool. Alrighty. Okay. So here we go. Dancer Brian would like to battle, and he will be coming out with his Darumaka. Okay. Highly physical Pokemon right there. It'd be a shame if, uh, if I destroyed it real quickly. With a rock slide! Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's right. Drillmonger's kicking some butt right now. Look at that. There we go. Say goodbye to that Pokemon. And uh, he's going to come out with another Daramanka. So I'm going to give Sai of the Torrent some, 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 some experience points right here, too. So let's go, Sai. Let's do this. Sai of the Torrent. And here we go. Razor Shell, let's get this. Oh god, it protected itself. Wait, what did it do? Did it avoid it? How did it? Oh yeah, 95%, yes. So here we go. Razor Shell, take that, and that, and say goodbye to Tyromaka. Just like that. Alrighty. Definitely loving the experience points right there. Now I just realized something. I forgot to take to give that experience here to somebody. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, let's see. Let's give that to Ace. And, uh, let's give this to Gigalift right here. And the Charcoal, let's give that to, obviously, a Hot Shot. And the Quick Claw. Who needs the Quick Claw? Nobody needs the Quick Claw. So let's just keep it right there. And, uh, well, let's see. We, what does this guy have to say? Oh, he's a trainer! Okay! Uh, damn. Hi, trainer. Let me uh, let me turn you into uh, let me to turn you into a work of art. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get this. So here we go. Artist Horton would like to battle, and he will be coming out with his Sigalith right here. And I got my Gigalith. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. You know, pretty awesome. Okay. So let's see. We got the move. Hopefully, it will hit. And yes, it is. It does. Look at that. Rock Slide nearly beats this guy, and oh crud, there's that whirlwind. Blows him away, and who's the next Pokemon to come out? Oh, look at that. Okay, so I can beat this guy. Hopefully. Here we go. Faint attack. Tailwind. What does it do? I think it makes it faster, right? What does it? I kinda, I don't even know. So here we go. Faint attack does the thing. Yes, sir, Rebomb. Say goodbye to Sigalif, the Gigalif. And uh, a little bit of a moxie right there. Look at that. That's right. 
So everybody gets experience points right there, which is always good. That's very, very good. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for those trainers. I think we got one more trainer left, so uh, let's see. You know what? We're gonna leave it to... You know what? I gotta give Shedder a little bit more experience points right there. So, four... We already have four badges right now, guys. It's it's amazing because it's like, what? We're already in our 20th episode right here, and, uh, yeah. 20 episodes and already four badges. Back then, if I if I remember correctly, it would it would have taken me like at least 30 episodes to actually get four badges right there, just because I was so I guess uh, well, what what was the word? It was very 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 uh, can't remember the word. It's very specific with the walkthroughs and all that stuff. So specific with it that I had to do a tour, a battle, and uh, everything else. And what the hell happened? Oh, look at that, an Adino. Okay. Adina, you just uh, signed your death warrant right here. Alright, we're gonna get an experience point right now. There we go. Get this. And uh, Adina just survives right there. And uh, what the hell did it just do? Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Here's a double slap. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's critical hit. Oh, come on. Lay off my guy! Oh, uh, God. I hate you. Oh god, okay, so here we go. Brick break, finish him off. For these experience points, because remember, facing off in an, uh, against a wild Audino, you get a lot of experience points right there. And I uh, wish that Moxie would have worked a little bit earlier. And look at that, level 28. Very good, very good, very, very good. And Ace grows to level 29, wants to learn Roar, but no, I will not teach you Roar because it's not effective in any battle or anything right here, so. That is pretty much it right there. So like I was saying, guys, I would be very, very, uh, very, very specific with the the way I do my walkthroughs. Back then, I would go to every single town, take a small tour of the town, and then the next episode, you would be battling the gym leader or doing something very important. Right here, we managed to combine it all together, which, you know, for me, that's a big plus because, you know, the sooner we get this done, the quicker we get to the next walkthrough. And of course, because of what's going on right now in the world, the whole coronavirus thing, I have plenty of time on my hands just to get this whole, well, just to stock up on videos and get these videos out. As I'm doing this, it is uh, March 19th. Yeah, March 19th. So whenever this comes out, you guys are going to be like, wow, he, he was dedicated. That coronavirus really put put a lot, like, really, st really stopped his day or something like that. It really did. It, it kind of did. It kind of made me angry and all that stuff, too. But, yeah, that's how I would do the walkthroughs and all that stuff, and, uh, let's see, what was it? Originally for this walkthrough, I wanted it to... I did six episodes, I remember. First six episodes, and I remember that it was, like, most of the videos were, like, at least six minutes long and all that crud, and, uh... Or, no, no, not six minutes long, but they were at least 30 minutes to 40 minutes long, because I wanted to cover every single little thing. And then I soon realized that, yeah, that's not the way to go about this whole thing. Yeah, it's okay to have the occasional 20 to 30 minute videos, including the 40 minute videos if it was important. But in this case, yeah, it's not really, you know, it's not, not really the case now that I can actually do live comp DS games. So that's why you're getting like occasional 20s, occasional 30s, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, uh, let's see, uh, we're going to be battling that guy pretty soon. Look at that, we got the revive. And it's a long, like, we, we've made a long, uh, long, long stride. Huge stride from uh, where we were back in the day. Uh, I remember the first time I ever watched a Pokemon Black or White walkthrough, it was with Pokemon Journey HD. If you guys don't remember that guy, well, he's no longer on YouTube anymore, but that was actually my favorite Pokemon Black and White walkthrough that anybody has done because he he, he did uh, an amazing job with the background, he did an amazing job with like, you know, just everything and uh, you know, right, I wanted to make my walkers just like him and uh, well unfortunately he's, he's no longer on YouTube anymore, I don't even know what, I, what the hell happened to that guy, but that's one, that serves as one of my inspirations right there for uh, making a Pokemon Black and White walkthrough. Hopefully this one becomes, a, or this one is better than the uh, the old ones that I had, which are no longer on my channel. And uh, here we go, faint attack. Let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. And palplitude, palplitude, I should say, got defeated. 
Alrighty, okay, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Experience points up the ass, that's right, that's good, that's always good. Okay, so that's all the trainers right there, so now it's time to just get the heck over to uh, Driftvale City. Chairs are like, this way! Now, contact him! Oh damn, sounds uh, kind of weird right there. Oh damn, what's the buzzing sound right there? Oh damn! It's me, Elisa, please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers here who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks! Now watch this. Oh damn, oh damn, look at that! You see, something good about Pokemon Black and White, just, it's this, it's the scenes. Freaking amazing. Uh, that's actually one of the things I actually admire about this, this whole game right here, even though I've only played it for like, you know, a handful of times. I wouldn't say it's not my favorite, but you know, I've yet to understand it completely. Elise is like, I have a TV gig, so I gotta go. The gym leader of the next town may may take uh, some time to get used to. Do your best, both of you. Okay, alrighty. Hmm. Stay sexy, baby. What a... Uh, it's like... Okay, Sharon's like, What I am a, is a trainer. I prove I am right by getting stronger and winning battles. Even against the champion. Yeah, he's still stuck on that. Like, the champion really, really, uh... Yeah, he really, uh hit a chord with that one right there. I really don't care. I, we all know I'm gonna win now. In this place right here, you're gonna be able to find uh, some wings right here. If you see spots like that, if you hear something fluttering around, it might be a wing or it might be a Pokemon. And uh, let's see, what does this guy have to say to me? Um, sometimes above the bridge you can uh, see the shadows of a bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift to the ground here. And when you try to pick them up, occasionally you'll run into a Pokemon. That is true. That's exactly what happened right now. And, uh, well, oh damn, where is it? Oh damn, where is it? Oh damn. I hope they don't poop on me or anything. Where the frick is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, where is the... Okay, I wanted to get that feather. Or a Pokemon. Normally you would find ducklets around here. This is exactly where you'll actually find them. But, you know what, screw it. We're not going to be able to find one right here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I saw something. Or it's probably the ocean. Or the river, or... I don't know. I don't know what it is. And... Oh, damn. I think we're, like, at the end. Let's see what... Let's see what you have to say, young lady. When a ship passes, the bridge raises and lowers. But Clay controls when the ship runs... Or when... When the ship runs from start. So, when the bridge uh, raises and lowers up... Uh, is up to Clay. Clay must be the gym leader. Probably. I don't know. So we're, oh, there it is. There's one. And that is a Pokemon right there. Okay, so here it is, guys, another Pokemon, a Ducklet. Now, if you guys don't remember, I think it was the last Pokemon Black Walker that I had that I actually captured a Ducklet as my water and flying type Pokemon. That was one of the ideas going into this walkthrough right here, but then I was like, yeah, a Ducklet's not that great of a Pokemon either. It, it usually, it evolves into a Swana afterwards, and then, you know, that kind of deal was whatever. And here we found a Resist Wing. It's a good uh, wing, I think. I don't even know if uh, I've ever used that wing before. And uh, let's see what you have to say. When Drifail is mentioned, what comes to mind is the cold storage. And Charles. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know who Charles is, but I'm pretty sure he's a cool dude, right? And here we are in Drifail City. And, uh, well, I think there's something that has to happen right here. Let's see. What do you have to say? So how about the city's pride and joy, the drawbridge? We all also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. And, uh, well, I think we are towards the end of this whole thing right here. Oh, no, wait, there's Charon making a fuss again. Huh. So you're the trainers Alyssa was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. I'm the, I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now. Because when we lowered that bridge, the Team Plasma guys we caught, done escaping all, uh, all the ruckus. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how, it, how is it our fault that they escaped? Yeah, you can say whatever you want, but what's important is y'all showed up, and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? Yeah, we are. We are. We are talented. Tell you what. If you find Team Plasma, I'll get you to challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Okay, he, he ain't kidding. He ain't kidding. 
Well, I suppose that's fair. But really, we would have looked uh, for Team Rocket even if he hadn't asked. I can get stronger while beating the, that bothersome bunch. Draven, I'll go ahead. I'll go on ahead, I should say. Okay, whatever you say. So yeah, Charon, he, he he's still he's still being Charon right here. So here we are, guys, in Driftvale City, and I need to find that Pokemon Center to stop. Okay, so yes, the Pokemon Center's right here. So we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna take a small tour of uh, Driftvale City. Talk a few things, find Team Plasma and all that stuff, and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.